We present GraspUI, seamless integration of object-centric gestures across the seven phases of grasping. Objects are indispensable tools we interact with in our daily lives. In fact, on average, a person handles 140 objects each day. From the cups we drink coffee from, to the pens we use to express our ideas, humanity's use of objects is one of the characteristics that sets us apart from the other species in the animal kingdom. But with so many objects around us, how can we actually leverage these items to improve our interactions with digital systems and tasks? Building upon existing gesture work, we present the Grasp UI design space, which can react to the user's physical actions throughout the entire grasping process when picking up an object. This grasping process is broken down into seven distinct phases, which we explored through a collaborative storyboarding process with mixed reality designers from industry and academia. The first phase of a grasp is reach, which takes place when the hand begins moving towards an object and before any contact with the object occurs. For example, a viewer may pass their hand through a menu item to select a food option to order for lunch as they reach to grab their coffee cup. Or the viewer might wave their hand away to dismiss a calendar showing the events for the day. The second phase of a grasp is the load phase. This brief phase takes place when the digits of the hand contact the object and ends when the object begins to lift off the surface. In this phase, a viewer might be able to select a workout difficulty setting depending on where they place their hand on the exercise bike handle. Or, when the viewer places their hand on the edge of a book, the location of a bookmarked page might be revealed. The moment between the raising of an object until it reaches a goal height is defined as lift. For example, while lifting a cup to take a sip of coffee, the viewer may perform a thumbs up gesture to quickly respond to a message. Or, when picking up a pen, the viewer may quickly tilt it to control the brightness of a nearby desk lamp. Holding is typically the longest phase throughout the hand-object interaction taking place while the object is firmly grasped. For instance, in this example, the viewer may swipe and tap on their toothbrush to control the playback of music, or tap their finger on a steering wheel to confirm an alternative route suggestion while driving. The replace phase is opposite to the lift phase and takes place when the object starts to decline its vertical position. As the viewer puts down their pen, for example, they can quickly tap it to turn off a nearby desk lamp or the viewer may position their coffee cup at a particular position on the table to select an app to switch to next. Similarly, the unload phase is opposite to the load phase. It takes place when the object becomes supported by the surface once again and the task involving the object concludes. During this phase, a viewer might squeeze the steering wheel to save their parking spot location. Or, when unloading a toothbrush, the viewer may tilt it along the back of the cup to set a morning alarm. Finally, the depart phase is opposite to the reach phase and takes place when the hand moves away from the object. After putting down a book, for example, the viewer may decide to pass their hand through a button to quickly order the next book in the series. Or, they might perform a heart gesture with their hands to quickly respond to a message. After our storyboarding sessions, we evaluated the design space utility with end users through a video-based assessment study. During the study, participants had access to each of the physical objects from our storyboards to try out the gestures for themselves. For each round of the storyboards, participants ranked how easily they felt the presented gestures would be integrated into their typical use of the objects. They also ranked each gesture's usefulness as well. After reviewing these responses, we found participants expressed an overall positive view towards the Grasp UI interfaces. To demonstrate the feasibility of implementing our approach, we developed a working prototype that supports interactions across all phases of our design space. We then conducted an empirical study with 14 participants to evaluate the overhead cost of adding input capabilities during interactions with handheld objects. The reach phase implementation has three buttons the viewer may pass their hand through as they move their hand towards the cup. If the viewer loads their hand on top of the cup, they can quickly check their device's notifications. As the viewer lifts the cup, they can perform a thumbs up gesture to quickly send a confirmation text message. While holding the cup, the viewer can spin their thumb to mute a microphone during a video call. As the viewer puts down their cup, they're presented with an app switcher that can select different windows using the cup's position. The viewer can also quickly tap their thumb on the cup to check their upcoming calendar events as they unload their hand. When the viewer moves their hand away from the cup, they can pass their finger through a message option to quickly send an ETA update to a coworker. Across 560 trials, we found that adding Grasp UI interactions resulted in a small additional amount of time to perform interactions with the cup. We also found that the placement of UI elements in each phase had a significant impact on the viewer's comfort level when performing interactions. Our Grasp UI design space enables interactions at each phase of the grasping process. 
For more information about our results and design guidelines derived from our system evaluation, be sure to check out our full paper.